Hi there, I'm Marie. Today, I want to share with you how I crochet this cozy scarf using the solid shell stitch. This shell shape motif is a lot easier to crochet than it looks. It makes a great beginner's project. The shape and texture are beautiful and fun to crochet. This pattern is also suitable for making afghans, blankets, hats, and other projects. I'm using a red heart brand, roll with it, melange yarn. This is their Showtime colorway. It really makes the shells pop. This is a size 4 medium weight yarn. A size 8 or 5 milliliter hook is recommended. To begin, chain a multiple of 6 chains plus 1. For this tutorial, I'm making a small swatch, so I'll do 25 chains. Once I've completed 25 chains, I mark it with a pin. Now we'll build a foundation row for the shell stitch design. Chain 1 Skip 1 chain and make a single crochet in the marked chain, which is the first stitch for the row. Now, go ahead and work a single crochet for each remaining chain across. We have completed 25 single crochets. To start row 1 of the shell pattern, chain 1 and turn the work over. Work 1 single crochet in the first stitch here. Next, skip these 2 stitches. Then, work 5 double crochets all into the following stitch. That's our first double crochet. We'll do 4 more. That's the second. Third. Fourth, and the fifth. We have one, two, three, four, five double crochets. Now skip two stitches and work one single crochet into the next stitch. After a single crochet is placed, the stitches fan out in a shell shaped form. Next, skip 2 stitches. Then, work 5 double crochets in the following stitch. Repeat the pattern all the way across and I'll show you how to close out the row.
Here we have three stitches left. Skip two stitches and place a single crochet into the last stitch. So, we started this row with a single crochet and ended it with a single crochet. We'll start row 2. Chain 3. And turn it over. The chain 3 counts as a double crochet. Work 2 more double crochets in the same stitch. This three double crochet cluster serves as half a shell. Next, skip two stitches. Work a single crochet in the middle stitch of the shell, which is the third stitch of the cluster. Skip two stitches. Then, work a shell cluster into this single crochet from the previous row. Keep repeating the single crochet, skip 2 stitches, 5 double crochets, and skip 2 stitches sequence. Here we have 3 remaining stitches left. Skip 2 stitches and work 3 double crochet into the very last stitch. So, we have framed row 2 with 3 double crochets on both sides. Next, chain 1 and turn it over and we'll start row 3. Work a single crochet on the top of the double crochet from previous row. Skip 2 stitches and work a shell cluster in the single crochet stitch created from the previous row. As you can see, row 3 is a repeat of row 1 and row 4 is a repeat of row 2. Continue repeating row 1 and 2 as many times as you wish for your project. For my neck warmer, I make it 28 inches wide. This is folded in half and 8 inches long. Now, these measurements are my own preference. You can make it larger or smaller if you wish. We'll join both ends together to form a cozy cowl. A quick and easy way is to sew it together with a yarn needle using the slip stitch method. First, hold the two ends together so the stitches from each side line up and face each other. 
Tie a slip knot under some stitches where it will be hidden. Weave the yarn to the end of the corner stitch. From the inside of the fabric, Insert the needle into the last stitch of the opposite end and pull all the way through. I double stitch the first stitch to make it more secure. Now, to make the joining less bulky, pick up only the outermost stitches as you go. Work one stitch at a time until you reach the end. Do a slip knot and fasten off. Now, Weave in the loose ends and you're done! Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful and you want to learn more, consider subscribing to this channel for more useful tutorials. And check out my other videos. Bye for now.